What's going on Jets fans? Welcome into NYJ today. In this video, I'm going to be discussing some of the players that Joe Douglas and Robert Sala may have their eyes on as the 2022 free agency period begins. Let's go ahead and get after it. Before I get into the video, if I could get you to please jump the like button. And if you're new here and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do want to let you know we will be live this upcoming Wednesday, and we would love to have you guys join us for that. We'll be discussing all things New York Jets offseason, free agency, the, the draft, and you know any types of offseason moves that the Jets might be making. Would love to have you join us. The link for that video will be in the description. So I have six players for you that I believe the New York Jets are going to be very, very interested in. They fit the scheme. They're younger players in most cases. And again, it fills a huge need for the New York Jets. Every one of these players is a different position. And I think that the Jets are going to be very, very aggressive in trying to fill as many holes as they can during the free agency period. Because then what ultimately will happen is, is once you get to the NFL draft, you're then able to have that flexibility to, you know, basically take the best players available and select the, the players that you really feel like fit the identity of your team rather than forcing your hand in the NFL draft, which is what you do not want to do. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the first player on my list. My first target for the New York Jets in free agency is going to be defensive end Chandler Jones. This is a guy that has a ton of experience in the National Football League. And I think a lot of people will maybe scoff at this, you know, potential fit for the New York Jets because of his age. He will be 32 years old to begin the 2022 season. And so I do understand that concern. But again, I think that we need to all realize the importance of getting a pass rush going for this defense moving forward. And so with Chandler Jones, he's not a long-term fix by any means. He is a short-term fix. And I think what's nice about this signing is, number one, you're getting a guy who's bona fide, has a ton of sacks in his career. And again, you know, coming off of the biceps injury, uh, you know, the year prior, so in uh, 20, uh, 2020, you know, he had a great year this past year in 2021. He had uh, over 10 sacks. He had 17 quarterback knockdowns. I think he had like eight, you know, quarterback hurries as well. So this is a guy that knows how to get after the quarterback. He has a ton of experience. And prior to that biceps injury that he had, he was healthy. You know, he played a ton of snaps and never really missed any significant amount of time in the National Football League. So I'm bringing the New York native home. The New York guy uh, comes home to play for the New York Jets, helps to generate a pass rush, and allows Joe Douglas to be flexible in the draft. We will have Carl Lawson coming back. We'll have Chandler Jones. We will still have some of our other guys, Jonathan Franklin Myers, Quinn and Williams. And then go get some more guys. Get some guys in the draft that you think can help generate a pass rush for this team. The next player on this free agency targets list, I think, is one of the most popular names right now in Jets fandom. Uh, tight end Dalton Schultz from the Dallas Cowboys. He's 26 years old or will be 26 years old to begin the 2022 season. And you look at the production the last two seasons for this kid, you know, uh, over 600 receiving yards in 2020, four touchdowns in that season. And then he came back and he had an even better season in 2021, over 800 receiving yards, eight touchdowns. This is the type of production that we really, really, really need on this offense. And if you sign a guy like this, he's a proven commodity. He's a veteran with still plenty of years left in his prime. I think that's kind of the benefit here. This is not like the Chandler Jones signing. This is a guy that you're hoping long-term three to maybe even five years could be a part of this offense and help to produce at the tight end position. We need a security blanket in the middle of the field. We need a guy who can stretch that middle of the field as well and a guy who can play, you know, who can run block as well. And I think that he can do that. You know, we've seen him do that in the Dallas offense for sure. This is not a, a Mike Gusecki type of situation where, he plays, uh, you know, the majority of his snaps at wide receiver and only lines up as a tight end sometimes. I think the great thing about Dalton is that he can, you know, he can move off of the line and he can kind of play that that um, split out wide type of situation. Uh, but again, 
Dalton Schultz fills a massive need, and I think that the New York Jets need to be willing to pay the price. And I think that's going to be anywhere from 11 to 12 million per year. I think he's well, well worth it. And I really, really hope Joe Douglas opens up his checkbook to bring this guy in. The next guy on this list is James Daniels, the guard from the Chicago Bears. And let's just talk about age in the free agent market. So typically these guys are a little bit on the older side when they enter free agency. It's pretty rare that they are you know, 25 years of age and under. James Daniels will be 24 during the 2022 season. So this is a guy that is very, very much entering his prime. And you take a look at not only the age that he's going to be, but also the fit. And when I say that he is a perfect fit for this zone blocking scheme, it is just that. And again, I think about the fact that the New York Jets very, or excuse me, very likely could be losing Laurent Duvernay Tardif, the guard that we got from the Kansas City Chiefs. He is a doctor, and you know, as of right now, he said it's completely up in the air if he's even going to be playing football next season. So I actually would be very, very aggressive going after James Daniels. The fit's there, the age is there, the talent is there. You bring him in, he can play right guard, and so you have what I think is a perfect scenario because then what you wind up having is, is you have James Daniels who you're paying top dollar almost certainly for, and he's going to play that right guard spot for you for about three to four years. By the time James Daniels contract is nearing its end, Elijah Vera Tucker will probably be ready to be getting his second contract. And so this is like the, the right time, I think, in my opinion, to go spend a little bit of money on this offensive line. And I think James Daniels is it. And again, you're talking about, you know, J, uh, George Fant, left tackle, potentially Mekhi Becton. Uh, and again, I think, in my opinion, I would slide Becton over to right tackle in this circumstance. So George Fant's your left tackle. Elijah Vera Tucker is your left guard. Your center is Connor McGovern. Your right guard is James Daniels. And then again, Becton sliding to that right tackle spot. That sounds pretty good to me. So again, I'm going James Daniels. And then once the NFL draft comes, I'm going to supplement the offensive line again. I'm going to draft offensive linemen in rounds two through five starters, uh, you know, down the road. We're not going to, hopefully we're not going to be starting any rookies on this offensive line in 2022. Again, you want to see this offensive line gel and you want to see them perform at a high level for Zach Wilson. The next player on this list is linebacker Foy Aluakon. From the Atlanta Falcons. So he is 27 years old, will be 27 years old during the 2022 season. And again, this is a guy that has a lot of speed. And I think that Jeff Ulbrich and Robert Sala salivate for linebackers like that. They brought in Quincy Williams for that reason. So I think that they're going to go for this guy actually and be pretty aggressive going after him. Jeff Ulbrich served as the defensive coordinator and the linebackers coach for this kid. And I think that that's going to be one of the big things is they're going to try to bring guys in not only that fit the scheme, but are familiar with the actual coaches. And so this is a perfect signing for the Jets. The linebacking crew needs to get better, needs to get deeper. We need veteran leadership. And this guy had a really, really good season in 2021. He had three interceptions uh, and he had a couple of sacks as well, a bunch of tackles. And this is a guy that can fly to the ball. So you're going to look for some TFLs from him as well. Started to improve a little bit in his blitzing. So I'm all for bringing in Foye Aluakon. Wide receiver Christian Kirk is another name that I think that the Jets will have on their list, you know, when they enter free agency. This is a 25-year-old kid who, you know, his production is pretty solid in the NFL. He's never cracked 1,000 yards in a season. He did, he came very, very close this past year. I think he had over 980 receiving yards. He's never had more than five or six touchdowns as well during an NFL season. So you're not going to be looking for a guy here who has 1,000 yards and double-digit touchdowns. This is not a wide receiver one by any means. So I think the idea here is, is that you're getting a guy that can play in that slot position, and he also can play on the outside. In my research, it seems that he does not, or there is a little bit of a drop off in production when he does play on the outside, but it doesn't mean that he can't play on the outside. And again, the Jets really covet wide receivers, Mike LaFleur especially, covets wide receivers that can play 
all over the formation. And so I think Christian Kirk can do that. And again, I think this gives the Jets some opportunity to have Christian Kirk in the slot on some downs, give Elijah Moore some reps in the slot as well. And I really like that, uh, that idea for this offense. So is it a guarantee they go after this guy? No, not necessarily because they may opt for the draft. They may opt to trade for a wide receiver. It's hard to know. But for me personally, if they're going to the wide, excuse me, to the free agent market to go get a wide receiver, I think Christian Kirk is a great, uh, great fit and a great opportunity for the Jets. The last player on this list is going to be safety Justin Reed of the Houston Texans. This is a kid who's only going to be 25 years old during the 2022 season. And during his first couple of seasons, he was making a lot of big plays for the Houston Texans. It's only been as of late that there, there's been some issues with the Houston Texans and himself. I think they actually they sat him out. They, they made him a healthy scratch for a game this past season. So he's definitely going to want to out, and I think he needs a fresh start. I think this is a guy that definitely has the talent, and I think teams will be interested in him because of his talent and because of his age. There are other safeties that are out there. You know, Jesse Bates the third. You know, Marcus Williams of the Saints is very, very popular right now amongst Jets Twitter. I don't know if Joe Douglas is going to go spend big, big money on safety position, but I think that they do need to go ahead and get somebody in here to play opposite you know, Ashton Davis or Jason Panak, whoever, you know, whoever wins the other safety job. And so ultimately that's what I would rather do. I would rather go spend some money on a Justin Reed rather than spending a top 10 pick on a safety like Kyle Hamilton. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about some of my, you know, targets for the New York Jets. Again, these are guys that I think they will go after, not necessarily who I would go after. Would love to hear what you guys have to say on the topic, though. Are there any players that you feel like I should have included that I didn't? And then maybe some players that I did include that you really would rather I hadn't. So look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. Hope you guys have a great day. Go Jets. And I'll see you guys next time.